right guys, so we got another one here. Uh, it's quite a tricky one. We've been here uh, last winter and cleared all the vegetation and trees. And that's what that bonfire left over from. Uh, and uh, we left it waiting for this time of the year where everything is dry. There's not much water coming through. And as you can see, uh, the dam is broke, God knows when, donkeys years ago, long, long time ago. There's not much room in here, also not much material to deal with. What I did quickly, the dam was very narrow, it was no room whatsoever. So I dropped it down, made it wider, using the same material it's been built up with. Um, and we said I dug out the front, but it was naturally caved out from uh, water. So it was a good thing because I had a room. So I cleaned that out, I dug down to clay, uh, did a sort of a key trench and pulled that stuff in and tracked it in, made it wider so I can get in there now. Um, I can't go on the other side there at all because it's public footpath there and it's, uh, it's, it's not, the, the property line is here, it's the edge of the pond. So I can't go, can't go on that side. Um, now i thought first i was thinking to build because uh, i have to bench him you have to you have to break this down find the bottom the nice bottom dig a cage trench yank it in and uh, we have to bench it in and work the way up tracking it in and i thought originally we were doing it this way but i changed my mind as i go here um i think the best way to do this really because it's a quite deep one, so the bottom of it is going to be extremely wide. Um, and mostly all we have to build up is right in the middle. That's already high enough, that's already high enough. So, what I'm going to do, really, I made a road already here. I will drop this down a bit, um, a bit simpler, <laughs> but not too bad. It's holding the, the digger all right. So what I'm going to do, really, uh, I will go in there here and pull the material in from the side tracking it in and then work my way up until it's in one level sort of thing it, it won't get me too high but it will give me a solid base to start with um, I will block up the ditch further up the water is barely tickles if you can see so it's not much coming through at all uh, I let it build up further up and when it's got to the point we just pump it over the dam um, now I have to find Kalai now Mother Nature created this horrendous big hole here but I'm gonna use as an advantage to us so the water at the moment coming around this way I'm gonna make it go around the edge over there and I will clear this hole and I dig down for clay and it's so close because we are planning to bring a dumper in here but it will be a kind of a a game ball a little bit really we'll see because yeah, end of the day i'm standing here on silt um, so we'll see so that's what i'm going to do i cleared this bonfire out i pull it out of the way for a time being we got to burn it sometimes not today it's too hot for that um and i'm on my own i need some people around really anyway so we deal with that later i get it out of the way i'll make my way in there somehow uh clear this side up build a new ditch so let the water go that way and I will use this hole here as my borrow pit and finger crossed it's clean there not sandstone uh, eventually it will be somewhere clay um, so we go with that we'll see what happens it's it's kind of hard to plan things like that you got to have a rough idea what you're trying to achieve and where you're going to um, and I'll make up the rest as we go because uh, yeah like I said, it, it, it can get difficult, especially when you've got no room and just to get into that job was a nightmare. I mean, that's also not, it, the way I came in is <laughs> it actually through a public path and of the public path into someone else's property, which, um, you know, she allowed us to go through, but she's not allowing us to go down anything to make room for the digger. So it was a tight squeeze, which is fair enough. Uh, we end up meaning bringing a mini digger, I think, for here and there. But uh, 
I can do most of it with the 130. Go from there, go from here. Right, let's see. I set up the camera here so you can see um, what am I trying to do here with that hole. It is a deep hole, it's a big hole. It's deep enough for the digger to not to stick out of it if I go in it. Right, there's only blue clay there, very smushy stuff and very deep. So I'm gonna go further up, very shallower, and we'll see what we find. Right, win today number three. So yesterday um, I got a little dump and got that a bit. Three ton dump, well, you'll see in a minute. And I'll find some clay. And uh, I'm gonna dig a huge hole, a borer pit to be able to build this dam back up. As you can see, I tore it down. I've got a good base now, so I just have to keep bringing it in and tracking it in layers and bring it up. I did block up the water here. That is my little dam. And um, it's, it's such a little amount of water coming through here. So I actually, that's the first time I'm pumping now. So it came up right to the top pretty much. I've caught it just in time this morning, it didn't went over. Um, so I'm pretty confident, you know, we got our entire day, a 24 hours gap between these fills up again. So it's pretty good because I don't have to worry about it too much. I just pump it out every morning and I can carry on working. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Today it's mostly it's just digging and bringing the clay here and finding the stuff we need. end of day number three I just pump this out before I leave and it'll be fine it won't fill up overnight uh, got that far with the dam it is hard work on your own but it's coming it's coming at the end, end of the day I was able to hey, make it and let's do the dump here we are the giant hole so that's my next uh, bit of pit. I just got the silt off of it. You can see how much silt is there, and that's the original bottom. So I'm gonna drop these down, take it out, because uh, I need that stuff. It's gonna come up another meter, really. Another meter or so. And then all the silt, the old stuff, which is lovely and dry. Farmer would love that, really. It's just absolutely beautiful stuff, really. Um, yeah, I just drag it all into the hole because uh, I'm pretty sure once the dam is finished we already gonna have about a three foot of water where we are you know and we're aiming for four or five average everywhere so it isn't that much to come up from the top so it'll be obviously it'll be more up the top but down here is not much and you know there is a giant hole already the actual well there's a giant hole here 
I mean, I'm mean, was able to lose a lot in here, a lot of it. Now, that, that was natural, it's just um, obviously I went in there to make the ditch, but that was a natural disaster basically. So, that will take that's a huge hole, very deep hole. That will take a lot of water, uh, seal. So, I'm just trying to drag that all level, basically, just level it all off uh, to get the there. Yeah. Lovely stuff. That'll be fun. Lots of um, muck shifting there is, basically. It's pretty simple once you got it in the right order. Um, that's pretty good stuff. So, behind the bonfire, uh, it's really narrow. So I can reach the whole lot from one spot pretty much, both end, both sides, I mean. But it's very wet up there. When I was here summer, uh, last winter, to clean the vegetation, I almost got stuck with the old 130 there. I got the counterweight there to big time. And I was sitting on locks, so I just went down with the locks. Um, so yeah, that might be tricky there, so it might be some excitement here. There's a big hole. It's a big hole. Now, uh, it's not ideal to leave a hole open that big but it is private property so should, no one should come in here and it's very well visible that's why I left the bucket on the side I got piles on the edge of it um, and I actually I got a ramp here so if it's you know you can walk in there there's some soft uh, stuff in the bottom so even if you fall in it that's I am gonna be end of the world I am gonna be end of the world I'm not worrying about collapsing at all, it's just so solid stuff, I am struggling to dig it, that's, that's not going to collapse on its own unless you get some torrential rain. Uh, I'm going to jump in there, you see, it's not that high, it's not that bad really, and you can just walk out of it, walk out of it, I came down here with the digger really, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Well, with all that health and safety bullocks around the world, you wouldn't be able to do that in a proper site these days. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Right, I found this water out and I call it a day. we